This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. We're always busy, but yes, it's been a busy season. Besides the stomach bug, people are also dealing with allergies in Reno. The pollen count is expected to get higher by the weekend. No fun there. From having a scratchy throat to itchy eyes, of course, sneezing. This is not a fun time of year for a lot of people. Good yes. evening. I'm Kristen Remington. I'm Wendy DeMonte. Thank you for staying with us tonight. Allergies can be especially painful this time of year. Angela Schilling joins us live from East Reno with more. Angela. Yeah, you know, unfortunately for allergy sufferers, I mean, the pollen is definitely blooming here in Reno. I was able to stop by a doctor's office today and they were able to give me a few tips to help with the symptoms. And they also were able to compare 2015 to years past. Fall is in full swing and allergy clinics are staying busy in Reno. We're averaging probably about 20 to 30 new patients starting shots a month. The lack of winter, Things are not dying off. They're just coming back three times as strong. Christy Maciel is a shot nurse at the Northern Nevada Allergy Clinic in South Reno. Are you running out of space in your refrigerator? Yes. The refrigerator holds all of the patient's medicine. The color bottles besides red represents new patients. Dr. Nugent is staying busy too. Sagebrush, which is our most common pollen here, and it's, it's our state flower for a reason. The plants that use the air to pollinate are the plants that we're talking about. Especially the sagebrush. If you do have allergies, there are a few things you can do. If you have typical symptoms, which usually nasal and eye allergies, most of us are, have been somewhat familiar with, Usually we'll start with the over-the-counter medicine. You also want to limit your time outdoors. However, that can be a challenge when the weather is nice. If over-the-counter medicine is still not working and you find yourself reaching for a Kleenex often, then you'll want to see your doctor. We try to use the least amount of medicine to get you better. And what about natural remedies such as honey? Some of those wind-pollinated plants um, bees will use to make honey, but the amount of the pollen that you're actually able to get in the honey and then be ingesting in general really isn't enough to, to make a significant change. Mornings right before work and when school lets out in the afternoon are the two busiest times for the clinic. Occasionally, lunchtime can be a slow period for the clinic. Are they anxious to get that shot? Oh yes, everybody's coming in sniffling. It's either feast or famine. And what's interesting is if we go to good freeze, either December or January are the two best months for allergy sufferers. But again, that's only if we get a good freeze. Covering Health Watch, Angela Schilling.